Take a good look. How much stuff do you have on your living room table? Be honest. There's a lot of stuff sitting on your living room table. We're all guilty of that. It's a nice available surface. So things accumulate on that table. And that starts with the remote control for your TV, maybe a vase of flowers, maybe a bowl that holds miscellaneous stuff, your phone charger, some magazines, the TV magazine, maybe books, maybe some toys from your child, maybe a plant. You can imagine there's a load of different stuff sitting there. You, how do you deal with this? Clearly, a lot of this stuff is actually useful. But the questions you may want to ask yourself are those. Is it useful at any given time of day? And how long has it been there? Some of the things that stay there are really only there because at some vague point in the future you might decide you need to use those again. Wouldn't they be better off put away and emptying the surface again for something maybe more immediately useful? Do those things actually have a place where they go? Or is the living room table their final resting place? Is there some rubbish on your table? If so, maybe it's time to get rid of it. Does everything on your table really need to be there? Another thing to consider is, what do you want to get out of your living room table? If you get the sense that it's messy, and even at a low level when you walk into your living room and you think to yourself, well, there's a lot of stuff there. Maybe it's time to take some of it away because it will prevent you from thinking that negative thought every time you walk into your living room. And I'm not saying you have to take away everything, but maybe just limit it, give it some thought, stay clutter aware and come back for more. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.